it's Bill Mosley, and you're watching Descent into Horror Hell. <laughs> you dog dicks. You dog dicks. You dog dicks. <laughs> you dog dicks. This is Skid Gore from the Sentinel Hell. This is your man Ghoul. And we are celebrating our Days of the Dead experience. Hope you enjoy it. Cheers. Just recently, a couple weeks ago, gone to Days of the Dead in Chicago. Now, we understand that, yeah, we're a little late to the party, but you know what? That's okay. We actually got lives that are going on. But so. horror fans, since we've been dick high, but, <laughs> you know, we never went to a true convention before because something would always come up, you know, whether it be money-related, job-related, ride-related. This is the first time it actually, all the planets were aligned. And everything worked out good, and it was just right an amazing experience, man. So basically, we're just kind of here to share the experience with us, um, give shout-outs to a lot of the cool people we met, because there were so many of them, um, with vendors especially, um, and celebrities alike. Um, so as you saw in our intro, Chop Top himself is now our endorser for free. I was going to say, <laughs> man, that was the biggest honor ever. Man. He was super cool, dude. Like, what I think uh -oh. he liked. Someone got shot. What I think what he liked. Yeah, I didn't do it. <laughs> what I think what he liked was that we knew films that he was in, except, you know, the Rob Zombie films, of course, mm. which we love as well. But he was intrigued that we knew like Rogue River, and I told him to do a quote from uh, Night of the Living Dead, 1990, Tom Savini's movie, and uh, yep. I think he was just kind of relieved to talk about other films other than just the ones he has to talk about, you know. Right. And he told us about the things that are coming up, and um, he showed us his... <laughs> his tidy white, the yeah. tidy white, is mind you. <laughs> that yeah. were in Devil's Rejects, that were in... Uh, I got it in my bag, I'll show you right now. It was, And actually, the reason that got brought up was because I was talking about Rogue River, and the fact that he got out of bed in his tidy whiteies and was running around in him trying to find his girl who got away. And he's like, you know, it's funny to say that. And he reaches into his bag and he pulls out a Ziploc bag with the tidy whiteys in it. And he says, I wear these in every film. <laughs> <laughs> Greatest story right there you never heard. And it's, it's awesome. a piece of film history. <laughs> and also, he said that um, he hasn't showed anyone but us because we ask. So, yep. there you go. The send over health first right there. There you go. Um, I guess I mean, we're lucky, though. <laughs> Yeah, I, guess. Tell you what he's... I guess. <laughs> you dog uh, dick! Uh, but, you know, the experience itself was so cool. Um, I mean, we got... we Big thanks to Andrew over at Time Warp Collectibles for, uh, you know, hooking us up with this. Um, Thank you so much, brother. You know, gave us the opportunity to be able to see this stuff firsthand. Not just see pictures and hear stories from other people, but finally have our own experiences. Um, Take it all in, man. Remember yeah. when we first got there, we just took it all in, and then we started yeah. crawling with people. You, walk, you, you walk, said to take it all in, and walk. for other people, it's like, oh, what? This ain't my first rodeo. Well, it is ours, right. you know. So it means a lot to us. Yeah, so. and that was cool. Just walking around and seeing the celebrities. I mean, Butch Patrick was there, which is cool. What you guys see our interview with him. Um, 
you know, seeing him again, he was actually right next to, <laughs> we call the Rob Zombie guy, did some amazing artwork, which we'll show you guys uh, coming up here. Um, but, you know, Andrew Divoff from Wishmaster. Um, that James. Awesome. Um, got to meet him. Talk, we'll talk about his brewery and stuff. And, oh, yeah. Um, just really cool stuff. Um, of course, the Friday the 13th, Two Cast was there. Amazing. Um, Adrian King. Um, From the first film. It's, just, there. It's, a, it's amazing. And, uh, I mean, yeah, we got Bill Mosley. Um, trying to think who else was there. Um, <laughs> Richard Dreyfus, of course. <laughs> Jaws, which we cannot forget. Um, but yeah. it, it was just so. It was Louis so, Gossett Jr. was there. That was true. He actually showed Lucille up on Presley Saturday. Presley was there. Elvis's yeah. wife. Yeah. She still looks absolutely amazing. Of course, stellar. Um, but you know, and the thing was, a lot of for us was the seeing the vendors and stuff like that, be able to talk to them, especially some of the underground people. Nathan Roller was there from. Um, he did Amityville Vibrator. Um, Chubby's. He, Gay for Prey. I mean, stuff like that. Really underground was really cool seeing him get to hang out and talk with him. Chubbies. Um, <laughs> you know, Alice Winkler um, from Space Base from Outer Space. Um, Plank Face. Uh, Violet. Uh, Vi Violet. Of course, the film, film Experiment 53. Um, that was a film that we had actually met the people, the directors, some actors, and some of like that it was cool. Um, so it was a lot of cool seeing the underground people as well as the main attractions. Absolutely. Um, Don't but, ever forget it, for sure. Yeah, but, yeah, I mean, and I, gotta, I just got to say, too, like, you know, the people and the commonality that we had there when we walked in, it was just like we were just welcomed with open arms, you know, and everyone was just on the same page. They were there for the same thing. Um, a lot of them have had previous convention experience, but they showed us the ropes, and that was really fun. Mm -hmm. um, just partying, just living it up, just having, celebrating everything horror, and just can't wait to go back. No, I, I think Flashback is our next uh, adventure, because I, I, I think this is kind of like one of those things, it's like a drug. Yeah. You get that first taste of it, and it's Anymore. like, man, you just want to keep going to every single one, so sure, sure. we're going to make that happen. And... Uh, you know, right now we're going to talk about some of the companies and some of the people we met along the way because it's been a humbling experience. It's been awesome. So stay tuned. We'll be right back, guys. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got I got a Corey Ackerman tribute DVD where I, a video I made right right when he was dying. Yeah. And so I made it real quick. I made, I made it in like, like a, about a week, and I sent him the first copy. I sent him the first DVD copy. I, get, I had it on video, seen scenes from different of my movies that he's in because he's in a bunch of my movies i stock footage i stick him in i had him doing stuff man i'd film him doing and i'd attack him with devil ant and everything and i i filmed them once at midnight in the lobby i put him in uh, dinosaur woman miss werewolf and psycho woman psycho woman coming soon and i use a lot of ketchup i squirt ketchup out of a bottle yep. when my girlfriend's bringing a plastic knife down it's a plastic a plastic hatchet and she's going i'm gonna chop you up in pieces and it's got ketchup and i'm squirting the ketchup out i'm going i'm going uh, uh, uh. and then you see me on the ground and i'm squirting ketchup and i'm going i'm saying hey I said, cut it out, you're getting, guys, cut it out, I'm getting ketchup all over me. <laughs> hey, bulls and ghouls, welcome back to Descent to Horror Hell, Days of the Dead recap. Um, now we're going to do something fun for you. Um, we've always kind of talked about giving away and giving back to the community. We know a lot of people that do and people that watch us. Um, so during this uh, walking around, uh, Patrick Rasmussen, who does some amazing artwork, um, Unbelievable. all sorts of, and he had a whole lot of prints and he, he just did things from hammer films to, I remember looking at his portfolio, man, it was amazing. like three different things and we were just going through them. Like the yeah. Time. So he was gracious enough to endow us with, uh, some prints that we are going to give away. Um, and how we're going to do that is we have three prints that we're going to give away. Um, in consecutive episodes. So we're going to give one away for this episode, our first episode of the new year, and then one after that. To get these, um, you will have to watch our show. <laughs> Believe that one. Um, and we're going to ask a trivia question pertaining to that particular poster, or that particular print. It is signed by the, you know, the artists and stuff like that, which is cool. 
It's a um, good deal. So what we're going to basically do is on our YouTube channel, if you comment and answer, you know, know the answer to the question, um, we will figure out a way to get in contact with it, to get address information, all that shit, to send it out to you for free. We'll pay for shipping, all that shit, not a big deal. <laughs> um, so the first one we are going to give away on this show is this badass print from Hellraiser. The great Clive Barker film franchise, if you will. Um, Doug Bradley and all's glory. So we are going to give this one away on this show. Now Skid Gore has a question for all of you. If you get it, if you know the answer, all like I said, all you got to do is comment on our YouTube channel. If you're Facebook friends with either Skid Gore or myself, um, send us a PM. We will try to figure out kind of who got it first. I don't anticipate, you know, a whole rush of people here, but, uh... Rush on Golden Report, boom! But, uh, jackass! But, um, if somebody does have the answer, you guys will be getting a free print, so... Um, Skid Gore, without further ado, what is the question for the Hellraiser print? Alright, hold her up there. See all the notes for Hellraiser. So any of you Hellraiser fans out there should know the answer to this question to get this fine piece of art. What does Frank Cotton cut himself on and he bleeds all over the floor to bring his brother Frank back from hell? What does he cut himself on? And also, what is he doing when he cuts himself? That is the ant trivia question for this fine piece of art. There you go. Like I said, we have two other ones that we are going to give away in the next two consecutive episodes. Um, we are, like I said, we're trying to work on giving away more stuff, kind of to help our viewership in one, <laughs> uh, but just kind of give back to people who actually care about and give a shit about the show. So um, yeah, we appreciate it. Man. Let's be blunt. Um, so the trivia question will come out whenever. Like, there's no specified time, so you can't just you know fast forward and watch it. But anyways. So there you go. That is the first one. Now we will get on to the vendors that we met um, at Days of the Dead in Chicago. Absolutely. Um, the first one, is, uh, we're gonna obviously we have all the cards here, but too much to remember. We'll, you got head we cards. will we will put it up in the front. If we get any of these wrong, we apologize. We're no experts. Um, Kevin Lockhart, who did the film High on the Hog with Sid Haig. They are your home. Home is where your heart is. Home is where your stash is. Whether it be blood, weed, or sex that ties you together, love hard, baby. I don't want no mistakes, Lola. I couldn't bear to see something bad happen to my girls. My family's owned this farm for five generations. That's <laughs> wheat, corn, and cannabis. <laughs> uh, his company was there, and that was really... Really cool to talk to him about uh, the films that Sid did later in his career, and you know how cool of a guy Sid was to work with. Just hearing the stories, yeah, it's just amazing. And you know we got to meet him and hang out with him for a little bit, and that was you know that was cool. So um, definitely check out High on the Ho High on the Hog Hanukkah. I know they didn't make that, but that was another one <clears> of the <throat> films that Sid was in, kind of at the end of his career, his life. So absolutely. And then we have. The Shadow Boxery. Um, really cool. Buttonbandit.com. Is this yeah. where you got your Beetlejuice? Yeah, these are, uh, they're basically shadow boxes, but they're like 3D art. So they're like oh, movie man, posters that, that awesome. are like three or four different layers of the title. Christ, they had a he had a cannibal label. corpse butchered at birth. I fucking wanted it so bad, and then I came back, it was it fucking was gone. gone. And then Google yeah. couldn't find the Beetlejuice. the Beetlejuice for his girlfriend, so yeah, yeah it was... He did find one though. He yep. did have another one. He was going to make us a necrophage. They did, but they did, the they did uh, what was that? Autopsy. Some, autopsy. He did, he did a lot of movies. Um, yeah. Cannibal Ferox was in there. A lot so of much. Cool Slave stuff, of the so Cannibal God. Definitely. So much. Definitely check out Shadow Boxer. We'll throw links on everything. Don't worry. That dude was awesome. Uh, Toxic Trinkets. Um, this was actually really cool. A lot of homemade. Um, pieces uh there was this robin williams face <laughs> on like teddy bears and stuff yeah. really weird oddity stuff but they also did the vhs 
um, thing where people start making VHS, you know, horror VHSs and making uh, 3D sculptures out of them. Yeah. Um, she had Candyman, she had A Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Halloween, all the, you know, the main uh, films. So Toxic Trinkers was cool. Winter's Gore? Um... Awesome props, realistic props, yes. horror movie props and whatnot, or just, you know, sick things you want in your collection. Uh, check out uh, Winter's Gore. I was really impressed with the realism of some of the props. Uh, the Ed Gein lamp, I remember. Mm -hmm. um, all the definitely fingers, all the fingers and, and the stuff. hands. Because they use a lot of silicone products, which is cool. It's kind of yeah. like you see in a horror film. It's you could really see the cool. wrinkles on the, on the fingers and shit. Like, it was so realistic. Yeah. Very, very super cool. Uh, person as well. We talked to her about films and uh, music. She was just really down to earth, just like everyone else was at Days of the Dead. Oh, yeah. But yeah, definitely want some sick art. Check out Winter's Gore. Right on. Uh, Jeff Lassiter um, was an artist. He's kind of almost in the realm. He does a lot of horror stuff, pop culture, but he's almost like a pop artist. Um, a lot of bright colors, really brings like a you know, black and white stuff and just kind of dull mundane films to life with a lot of bright colors and cool shit like that. Think of Andy Warhol kind of stuff. Um, Absolutely. Jeff, cool guy actually to meet, so. And we have... That was the extras, this guy. You got absolutely. You got we'll the show, we'll show some. We do, we do have some examples of the art yeah. that we did pick up along the way as well. Should so. I show it now? Yes. All right, cool. Yeah, we show them with the card. This is not for sale, by the way. This is for a special friend. But that is Patrick is Rasmussen, who we are auctioning off his amazing artwork. detail on Tony Todd, their Candyman horse. So. And then we have Reagan, that evil little. Pea soup spitting bastard, the exorcist. <laughs> I love that. That is such a sick picture. Oh, no, no, oh cool. This one's yours. I don't want to show that one yet. <laughs> we'll wait. But yeah, cinemaart.com, guys. You want some good quality horror art? Check them out. Then we have Merch Massacre. Um, they do. They do a lot. They have a store, and they do a lot of sci-fi horror stuff. A lot of collectibles, movies, magazines. You name it. Any sort of thing that kind of like a, a free-for-all of uh, like the old horror stores you used to go to so definitely check out cinemassacre.com or not cinemassacre <laughs> merch massacre <laughs> oh, another one go thinking of movies Woo. oh this one i remember silver silicon dot silicone dot com yes. now this dude was actually he had like with this old man mask mm -hmm. remember and we were yeah. talking about you know prosthetics and shit and he actually was gracious enough to actually show us how they were made. He he uh he put the thing on. Yeah, he put it on, and you like would think it's an old man, you know. Like I the, want one of those so bad. Because they they make the old man silicones where they really stick to your face, but yeah, he has he got this to where the jaw literally followed yeah. your jaw, so yeah. it's like you're literally talking. Yeah, and I've seen them, but this was this was one of the best representations man. I've ever seen of it. But uh, they had cool goblins and trolls and all sorts. Alice of Alice cool Cooper, shit. Alice Cooper one. Yeah, they had a lot of cool stuff. So. A lot of terrifier art stuff too. Yeah. Obviously he was there, but Selvage Silicone, Selvage Silicone, Selvage.com. <laughs> Are you saving him from death? <laughs> Excellent. Check him out. All right. Now these other, these tool, these tool guys, these cool guys were actually really awesome. Uh, the Killer Thriller Experience, uh, they were the booth that had homemade characters like Terrifier, um, Freddy, Jason, Michael, um, Pennywise, both the new and old. And they would have them in this corner. You could take pictures with them and stuff like that. And they would have this whole thing set up. And they also had um, bumper stickers and just kind of other kind of cool little things. You could buy movies they had for sale. And we actually found him, the movie Found. And he went back to his room the next day. And I remember <laughs> the next day we went to him on Sunday. And he looked at us and he's just like, well, I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> so Yeah, was I was cool. talking about Scott Schrimmer's Found and... I found found, you know, it's yep. like five bucks for used. Heavenly a great fucking purchase. So I told him about it. He's like, Can you go get it for me? I'm like, Yeah, absolutely, man. <laughs> so I went and got it for him. 
And like Ghoul said, he took it back uh, <laughs> up to his hotel and, and watched it and came back the next day. I said, dude, that was the movie. He's like, oh, really? Depressing. That was depressing <laughs> as fuck. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, but he said it was a good movie, so I'm glad we yeah. turned him on to that. Which so. it is, of course. All right, you got yeah. next. Oh, take that one. No, don't take that one. Take, take that one. Because that one I got. This one? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. We, we gotta figure this out because we just got them thrown in a pile, so. We got so many cards here. <laughs> oh, let's see. Real art. Real art collectibles. That was the store that got a lot of shit. Just a lot There's of There's just cool so stuff. much so much horror yeah. merchandise. Yep. It's Anything a merch you could, store. I think I might have bought a couple room orgs and fangos there. It's a, it's a merch store. Yeah. Alright. Jamie Koala Koala? Like the koala? <laughs> sure. Um, I did buy some art from her. Amazing, amazing artist. Um, she does a lot of surreal, almost like if Dolly had a really, really dark side. I know he had some dark art, but I did pick up a print from her as well. Um, That's sick, man. Which is just, it, it's cool. It just, it's like stuff of your nightmares, like yeah. just amazing stuff. So face peeling. Uh, Jamie Qual, awesome. Very, very Cheers. talented. Glad to have that in my collection. A lot of these artists we're talking about too really took their time out to not only explain their product but explain what horror means to them mm -hmm. and uh, just have really cool conversations. It was really, really awesome. Right on. Then we have. <laughs> so, stand by, Houston. <laughs> weird, weird problem. Weird dot top J. Weird dot top pictures. Jason Zink. I believe this is where I got my. 1031 slipcover from. Really cool guy. Heavily into VHS. We were talking about yep. pieces and Madman on VHS. And uh, I told him I had a cannibal, uh, make them die slowly, and a uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night big box. And yeah, we're friends. Awesome. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Descent into Horror Hell. These guys were at the show, they were walking around, they were just handing out cards and stuff. and. Um, they're just talking about this horror show that they have, and uh, really cool guys, like really down to earth, really knew their stuff. Um, so I was pretty impressed by them. They yeah. knew their stuff. Yeah, so it was pretty cool to meet uh, Descent into Horror. Should check those fuckers out. You know, yeah. they got. A, I they think, they, they, think they got a YouTube show. Instagram, YouTube. Facebook, Wix page. Yeah. I mean, everything. So definitely check them out. Skigor is kind of hot. Judging other men. <laughs> Merch massacre. No, we did that one already. Oh, we did that one. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> this one. Yeah. This one. KK. KK Art. KK Art. Yeah, this guy we met when we actually first came in on Friday uh, yeah. for the first day. Really cool guy. He had these, you know, awesome really shirts. cool hats like Night of the Creeps, like the those really nice um, New Balance or New Era hats, whatever the hell. Yeah, like the yeah. Suicidal Tendency style, where they yeah, the brands up really like that. nice, really yeah. cool stuff. Really cool guy. Really, we talked about metal. We talked about yeah. horror films. And of course, Ghoul saw a uh, Pieces hat, which he fell in love with. I'm surprised he didn't yes. buy that, by the way. Yeah, well, <laughs> so much. Not enough There's money. so much stuff. When I you mean, go to a convention, a... you have to be prepared financially. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. There was so much shit I could have spent. I could have spent all the money I yeah, had. Yeah, I could have account. my entire savings account there, yeah. just probably on one booth. Would have been bad. <laughs> uh, Byron Winton uh, does a lot of cool artwork. Um, he has anything on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, which I don't use anyways. Um, but he does a lot of really cool artwork. Um, check him out. Yeah. yeah, we could do that one. Yeah, we could do that one last. All right, that's well, the best garage sale junkies, um, they just had a plethora of a lot of different stuff. Um, I ended up finding a Goosebumps bumper sticker, which is really cool because you just don't find those. Um, but they had everything from figures. That was where the Scream guy almost hit you. Yeah. That was the one where the Scream guy, like, tilted in the side and stabbed me. him right in the head. Stabbed me in the head. It was awesome. So check out garage sale junkies. Awesome little uh, site. And we saved the goddamn best for last. Man, we were just about ready to leave. We were walking around we saying were, our goodbyes. We yeah, just, we, we said we goodbye to everybody. D, we were just, I think, done with D. Wallace, and we were walking yep. down that line. Yeah. 
D. Wells. Out of nowhere. D. Wells is a sweetheart, by the way. Yes. We love D. Wells. And out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, <laughs> we met a Chicago legend. And some of you might know him. Some of you might know him. If you're a fan of cheesy flicks, if you're a fan of uh, Ed Wood type stuff, you know what I'm saying? He's like, the Ed Wood of... Yeah, it says even he's the Ed Wood of the 21st century. Yeah, for sure he is. I give yeah. you David the Rock Nielsen. There we go. I'm huge. <laughs> what you gonna do when all my rocksters run wild on you, brother? Yeah, I say rocksters because they're fans of The Rock, David the Rock Nelson. Don't forget to hear, man. Smoking Joe Frazier. Oh, yeah. Legend. God, Ghoul, what can I even say? Like, Dude, I recognized him first. You were talking to him, and I was talking to somebody, and I'm like, holy shit! You're David the Rock Nelson. He's like, you know me? And you just started talking. And he's walking around with the ant, too. Yeah, it's yeah, like, you had the fucking oh, ant. And. I was talking to him, so where's your potato gun? And we just started talking and talking. And we're talking and about he never films. stopped talking, but it was awesome. He never stopped talking. The dude was a <laughs> sweetheart. We loved him. Oh, man. So I, cool. I first learned about him through a documentary called VHS Lives. And I kind of did my homework on, on him after that. But just seeing him in person and just seeing his personality and oh, yeah. kind of getting to know him, you know, talking about it. How he's still in shape and showing us his big guns. And you shit. guys saw the video. You yeah, guys yeah. Know. Like, and if you haven't, did this whole thing. Check it out. Yeah, he literally did the entire <laughs> spiel like three times. I think it was. At least he, he was so amped he to was like. Cool, I, th man. I think a lot of it was. He just was so happy that somebody actually recognized. I him. Knew, oh, dude, <laughs> I damn near shit my pants. Dude. That'd be like when I saw him, like. Holy shit, dude! And he's like, you know me? I'm like, yeah, no, everyone's walking around, you yeah. know, whatever. But I'm and like, he's handing out shit. People are like, oh, thanks. Like you're just some yeah, yeah. cool guy. Like no, like he was know. super cool. Dave Nelson, man, just you don't know. The but, Rock, The Rock Nelson. But I mean, what can we take away from all this? I mean, you know, it was so much fun. Um, you know, there was so you know, there's a lot of things that yeah, we didn't know. You know how these things ran, um, but I mean, you get to walk around and see all this stuff, and just amazing artists. I mean, yeah, I mean the the vendors, unbelievable artists. You know, and you had people making jewelry, you had people making just custom pieces. Yes, yes, that that is sick. That's Love sick. that. Just the talent, the caliber these people have. They wait all year for this stuff. Well, they do this shit. And they do this <laughs> stuff <year>. so much, <laughs> and year. they just put so much passion into it. Now, this is what really captured me. I thought this was just a still of Cheney from London After Midnight. It's actually all pencil. That's amazing. amazing art. I thought that actually was a still from the lost film, and I had to snatch that up. Mm, I got one as well. And yeah. Alice Cooper was there. <laughs> yep. And everyone knows that Alice Cooper's one of his favorite movies is Salem's Lot. And um, I flashed this at him. I'm like... Alice, check this out. Or Vincent Ferdinand's real name. But anyway, I said Alice. I'm like, Alice, check this out. He's like, that is awesome. Where did you get that? And I told him where the booth I got it from. He's like, I've got it. Literally get right across the yeah. way. So I don't know if he got one or not, but there it is. that's cool. <laughs> um, then we talked about, uh, I mean, real quick here. Um, we did kind of briefly talk about the celebrities we did talk to. Um, Andrew Divoff, who is... Wishmaster, as I think most people know him. The gym. Um, Patrick did a really awesome piece. Um, and my dog is whining. And uh, that's the piece. And I got Andrew to sign that. Um, Trade your soul for a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> like, <laughs> awesome. Uh, but Andrew was a really, really cool down to earth guy. Like, super. Really love my Alien 3D shirt. Yeah, and I, that was a talk of you. And I think I might end up giving that to him at some point if I need that. <laughs> I can't we'll you see. give that up, holy oh shit. We'll see. Um, he really no, wanted it. Really cool guy. Dee Wallace was amazing. Sweetheart. Um, so, so, she was telling us the behind the scenes of Cujo and the howling and just mm -hmm. stuff you never hear. And it was just an amazing, amazing to hear stories about, you know, yep. working with Rob and just unbelievable woman. Love her. See, I gotta say one story, like... Ghoul got popcorn signed by her. 
I got the original movie poster, which I actually found at the convention. I was going to get the VHS signed because that's one of my favorite all-time covers. <laughs> and then we were shopping on Friday, and I was we went through some posters at this place, and I found the original one sheet of popcorn, the, v, the v, VHS video cassette release poster. And I bought that, and I just thought, no better had to have her <laughs> sign that. Like, that was cool. She was thrilled. And she was, she was kind of shocked. She's like, you just don't see that too often. Yeah. Everybody wants to get the same stuff. Yeah. Um, but I got to say, one of the coolest things was meeting Richard Dreyfus for me. Um, now, I didn't get Jaws, anything Jaws signed. Um, I did get my original Close Encounters of the Third Kind board game cover signed by him. But just before I left, I had to tell him, <laughs> quit playing with yourself, Hoopa. <laughs> he just had a laugh about that. And <laughs> that made my day. And that made my whole week. And that was really cool to see. Cause... Every time I saw him, I did a Jaws quote for sure. I almost knocked him over, too. He was coming down the stairs. <laughs> I didn't see him. Remember that? I <laughs> we almost knocked to... Hooper over. Yeah, we were talking about the, to the guy who had a bunch of patches and stuff. We he was like doing a Q&A <laughs> downstairs at the hotel. And he was coming down the stairs right as I was like back. And I was talking to somebody or something. took him out, man. All of a sudden, I almost took out Hooper. It was cool. <laughs> Sorry, Hooper. <laughs> But uh, yeah, was experience overall, was. it's just been so much fun. So hopefully we can do another one of these for flashback. We are planning to go to that in August. Shit, so shit. hopefully you guys. But with that being said, this will be the last video we are going to do for you guys until the new year in January. 2021 can fuck off. Let's bring a new year. And again, fresh. this episode is dedicated to Tess Lozell Strasser. Well, not Strasser, but Tess Lozell. Um... Absolutely. A mother to us, um, dedicated to her. We loved her. Um, she would have loved shit like this, you know. Um, that was a hard one. And then, you know, we lost some other people along the way. We got people on... <laughs> I mean, it's just... It's a shit show, man. Like, We're ready for the new year, for sure. 2021 has been... Personally speaking for me, 2021 has been the worst year I've had in a long time. Yeah. Uh, personally, loss-wise... Job wise, you name it. It's just, it's been a real struggle, and I welcome the new year with open arms, and we hope that you guys do as well. Whether you're fans of us or not, we hope you have a great holidays and definitely start the new year out fresh. So with that being said, I am Ghoul, and I'm Skidgro. We'll see you guys next time. Fuck off, 2021. Bring on 2022, the year of descent into horror. Yeah.